My name is Anne, and I'm a residential school survivor. I am a thriver. Okay. He told me, my little girl, put on your dress, okay? Oh, I'm so proud of this little dress, you know, made out of flower bags, it's all nice and flower. So I sat beside him on the buckboard, and we had about six miles to go, you know, through the bush. He was very quiet, you know, and I'd look at him wondering what was going on. So we get to this, oh, I'm just happy, I'm going to see my, my sisters, you know. And we get around the bend in this great big red, you know, building. He took my hand, come with me, he said, and there was a, a children on the veranda, and my sister was around the corner. She didn't want to see this, okay? So anyway, you know, and he left me, you know, he let go of me, and then he walked, started walking down the gravel uh, part to the horses, and all of a sudden it dawned on me, he's leaving me here, he's forgetting me. I broke away from Pauline. Oh my goodness sakes, I ran after him, you know? And we started hitting the horses to get away from me. He couldn't get away, and he stopped his horses, and he got off the the buckboard. He come at the back, and he... He, uh, he picked me up, and he said, I can't take you with my girl. And he said, why can I go home with you no know? and why he said, why? I said, we'll go to jail. We can't keep your children at home, he said. You gotta stay here. I, and I looked at my dad. I never saw my dad crying. My dad was crying. And he drove away. And that's your grandma with them? Yeah, it was beautiful. Mom was the matriarch, okay? My dad was, uh, how shall I say, a very quiet man. But in my own way, he was a teacher. Yeah. Uh, took us on nature tours, you know. At one time I went with them to uh, pick berries, okay. It's one of the things, social things that we did. So driving a team of horses, you know, and a wagon and a buckboard, and they were talking Cree to one another. And it's like osmosis, you, I, although I didn't really understand them, but you can get the gist of what they were saying. And I heard them say, isn't she beautiful, you know? And I thought to myself, that was so wonderful. I knew I was loved. We were always, always punished, okay, for trivial things. You step out of line, you get cuffed on your ears, okay? Oh, I guess we tried our best to learn, but I couldn't learn, you know? I didn't want to learn. I was depressed. I believe there's childhood depression, okay? Because my mind was not on my books. I'd look out, out the window, nice green grass, bright sun, you know, and whatnot. I uh, showed my report card to my dad. You can learn, he says. Are these your grades? I said, yeah. And he, what do you want to do with that? I said, I think I want to go, go on, to, on to school, you know? I learned a little bit about nursing. Worker staff in the kitchen would call me names, you know, being who I was, all that. What kind of names? Huh? What kind of names? Dirty Indian. Move back to your teepee. 
But you see, I think they might have been jealous because I had a nice uniform, white socks, you know, white shoes. I was special. <laughs> 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 I think and I had to uh, get friendly with the other, you know, classmates. And there was about four or five that befriended me, you know, that helped me see around and whatnot, and they're my dearest friends today. And uh, if I saw Aboriginal people, non-Indigenous people, okay, come in, I, I used to, you know, uh, sidle up to them, because I know they were scared, eh? I uh, was instrumental in getting the hospital to get interpreters. One of the things I didn't like, they came in with tags on them, you know, names. Oh, God. That's offensive, you know, that's like what they do for animals in a stockyard. So that was discontinued, you know. You got yeah. that discontinued? Right. In the 60s? Yeah. And I think for myself that I excelled, okay? Because I think I had that warm bedside, you know, manner. At least my patients told me. You meet discrimination. You're very subtle, okay? You're left out, okay? You're avoided. Okay, well, that's all right. I've been avoided all my life in, <laughs> in non-Aboriginal community. <laughs> That's a good one. That's when I got the, the my name, the Ann Thomas building. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was it like being told that you're going to have a building named after you? What? <laughs> I was very surprised, okay. Why? Why me? You know, kind of thing. I'm supposed to be humble. <laughs> <laughs>